as you can see in the photos, I do have some neat documentation for the car, including some early, early photographs of it with the original Goodyear polysteel tires, as well as the uh, Indy 500 pace car door graphics that were still in the car at that time. In addition to that, to help verify mileage, uh, we have the Indiana inspection sticker in the uh, driver's side corner of the windshield that uh, you can see the photos of that show the mileage, I believe at 27,000 or so back in 1980. There's an oil change uh, sticker in the driver's side door. And then I'm fortunate enough to have every registration or just about every registration receipt on the car since it was new. And those also, I don't believe everyone has mileage, but a majority of them do, and they help piece together uh, the original mileage on the car, which again is just uh, just at 46,700. Uh, you know, what's neat about the car is that it, it wasn't tucked away for years and years and years. It's gotten semi-regular exercise over the years, which is great. I think that's a testament to uh, why it runs and drives and handles so well yet many times when you pull those cars out of barns that haven't been on the road for years you just end up opening a can of worms and they have one problem after another uh, but like I said I, I took the car up to northern Wisconsin without hesitation it ran and and drove like a million bucks see I'm gonna go ahead and uh, look out for traffic here 